Hello my beautiful bitters and welcome to my channel and today I have got my top 10 ish eyeshadow palettes for spring. I am just feeling very spring like today. Um, I'm wearing black though. It's not really springy but In my last video for my ColourPop unboxing, I was like, I don't know what to do. I was really feeling purple. So purple look on and let's get into these palettes. Now I, I actually have 12 palettes here and some of them are discontinued, but it'll give you an idea of the color story. And I will also, if I find some palettes that are still being sold that I feel have the same vibe as that color story. I'll plop it in here. I'll also list everything in the description box below. If it's available, I'll list the link, um, all that stuff for you guys. So that way you guys can shop the look or, or whatever. So, um, yeah, let's go through my, my top, what I'm going to be grabbing for and using this spring it are going to be these palettes and these palettes are the ones that I pulled specifically aside to put out for me to focus on using outside of my project pan you know because I, I like to try to give myself you know one to two eye makeup looks that are not my project pan shadows so that way I get to play at least with one to two palettes a week so let's get into this. So let's go into um, the number one thing that I automatically think of when it comes to a spring palette is something that is discontinued. But if you have this in collection, pull it out, use it. it they are beautiful. I'm wearing them today on my eyes and that is from their Bambi, ColourPop's Bambi collection. But we have Bambi, which is more of your neutrals and you got that pop of gold. This is something that when I was mentioning in that ColourPop mystery unboxing that I wish that they would do was to go back to this. They can still do the same pan size, you know, of those squares, but go back to the cardboard. So that way you can have your, your beautiful image because those outer cartons were so beautiful. And I just wish that that reflected on the palette itself. And they've been going to plastic instead. And, and I think ethically, it, it would be better if they just used recycled paper materials. Plus these also decompose. So if they get tossed in the landfill, this is going to decompose outside of the, the pans and the mirror. But yeah, I mean, that's, that's what I wish. But yeah, this is my least favorite of the three. Right now I am actually wearing flower and this is the beautiful purple palette and I'm wearing every color on my eyes today and so I really love this middle shade oh gosh it is that purple but it's got that gold reflect to it it is so beautiful and I absolutely adore it I have it on my lids I do like I said I have everything on the on my lids from this palette today um, even the black, I use that to deepen out the outer V. And so, yes, this is definitely something. But my favorite palette of them all is Thumper. And that's James's nickname. And he calls me Bunny. And Thumper's girl is called Miss Bunny. So, it's just our little thing. <laughs> so, anyway, this is the Thumper palette. This is a pinky neutral palette with that pop of green in the middle love this green i am wearing this in the crease um friend owl in the crease and then just and then i started putting the purples over the top of it so yes beautiful this green so pretty um yeah love this so if you if if I can find where you could buy them, I'll put them in the description box below. But if not, you may not be able to find it unless you check like Poshmark or Mercari or something like that. You might be able to find them that way. But yeah, I, I just really loved this collection. Next palette is has quickly become a favorite, but it's no longer available. If I can find where they're still selling it, I will list it in the description box below. But if you have this palette, pull it out. 
use it for the spring. It's, it's the perfect spring color in my book, spring palette. This is from the Tinkerbell collection and this is Sprinkle Little Magic and this, oh my gosh, the color story in this is just so divine. I wore this to work actually the other day. I did a wake and I kind of did um, uh, a wing with that and then I used a little fine brush and just kind of like fluffed um, pixie dust right on the lid. I did... Um, uh, these two in the crease sprinkled that just so it just had like a little gold like little small shimmer and you wouldn't know it was gold or uh, not gold green unless you looked close but this part was was green and yeah it was a beautiful makeup look I love the whole color story <laughs> excuse me it is perfect for spring I'm really just feeling purples um, peaches greens for spring and do not know why but that's just what I want to gravitate towards so this is definitely one that I'll get use of I wish that it was still available so you can buy it on the ColourPop website but um, it is not available unfortunately but it is so beautiful I love it all right so the next set of ColourPop palettes are all still available so I'm going to show these two because they kind of have the same vibes so, so fly is still available, but it is the dragonfly one. And this one has the beautiful pinks and then it has that pop of uh, teal. But right here in the middle, it's like this beautiful like duochrome shade where it's got that pink, but then it's got that green reflect. It kind of changes green. So it's multi-dimensional on your lids. And so, yeah, this one is definitely one I highly recommend. It is so beautiful and perfect for the spring. The next palette that screams spring to me that I can see myself using a lot is the Blush Crush. Now this one is still available on the website. You can get it as a single or as a duo pack with I think the new nude mood. Yeah. Anyway, this is a beautiful, perfect spring palette. It's got those peachy pinks this um, enamored shade, it's a beautiful peach. I love this on the lid, it's so pretty. And then this one right here, which is called uh, Pop a Bottle, it is so pretty as well. And it's really pretty on the lid, or using a really fluffy brush and just kind of lightly go over your lid, you get that little bit of sparkle. Um, beautiful, beautiful. So this is definitely a palette that I will be dipping into for the spring, for sure. All right. So the next one is one that is now, it wasn't available for a while, but now it's available on the ColourPop website, which is the Child palette from The Mandalorian. And The Mandalorian I, is also available as well, but I freaking adore this palette the greens in here this um super shock shadow that's right here um, is beautiful I, I just really love this green which is um right hand mando i love that green and then this is the super shock shadow but i love this i yeah i just love the greens in here and it just screams spring and it's perfect so it's definitely one that I'm going to be dipping into. The next one that I really have enjoyed, I got this in a boxy charm and it is still available on the Wander Beauty website. It's called Sweet Escape. This is like a $36 palette though. It's Fendi but it is so beautiful and you want those purples. Um, this middle shade on holiday, it is amazing which is this one right here that pink to gold to rose goldy type shade it is so pretty and I've done my eyes with this on a few occasions and I absolutely adore it and it's perfect for spring the next one is one that is not available um, on the website it is sold out unfortunately hopefully they bring it back because it's a beautiful palette 
Anyway, this is from Ace Beauté, and this is Violet Sage Palette. Now, even though this is not available, it will give you kind of the color story of what I'm kind of going for. I'm really into, like, the pinks, purples, and greens for spring. So this is literally that. It's got the pinks, it's got the purples, and it's got the greens in there. Um, this Cosmos shade is so beautiful. But yeah, the, the greens um, are all mattes, and all of these purples here are mattes. And then you've got um, three shimmers. You've got Anemone, Wisteria, and Cosmos. But everything else is matte and so it's very a versatile palette hopefully I can find it for you guys where it's sold new um, and if I do find it I'll put it in the description box below all right the next one's an oldie but a goodie and it's one that I always 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 pull out in the spring I do not know why but I love doing this um, using this palette in the spring it is available on the Juvia's website I don't know if it's still available on, at Ulta probably is but it's their Nubian 3 it's their coral palette this one didn't get as good reviews as what everything else did but I adore this palette I always use this in the spring like I love me some corals and I love me some um, silvers and grays and so the combination is just so beautiful this one right here i adore this shade like so much it is like the perfect lid shade so this is definitely more of like a grungy coral palette but it's perfect for spring so you could either go very light and airy with it or you can grunge it out it's got that good versati versatility in it and it's one of, that's been a favorite of mine for, for years now. Being Natasha Denona palette. Now, um, I really want the Retro Glam palette the, with those pinks and those po couple pops of like minty greens. Man, if I had that palette, I'd be using that palette all spring. I want it so bad. But I do have the Retro palette. And this one's more of like a grungier palette but you can lighten it up with a lot of the colors in here and so it makes it like a great versatile palette for year around but this is definitely one that I would dip into because a lot of these pinks like this one right here and in, in, let's see glitz and uh, psychedelic perfect pink shades for the spring so yes this is definitely a must and it's in my top 10 palettes for my whole collection okay and the last one is another one that is still available on lunar beauty's website my absolute favorite is the eternal eclipse palette with those darker like um it's got a lot of nude shades in there but it's got a little pops of blue it's very dusty grungy and i adore that palette but the next one that i really adore this would be my number two in the whole collection Will be the nude prism palette i see this palette and it just screams spring to me but it is perfect versatile palette for everybody for every skin tone because of the the color gradients you go from super light and look at all of these colors that all of the it's it's very matte heavy and then it's got these shimmers my favorite one is laura right here i have got a big huge dent in, dip in this one it's right there I have a dip in this palette in that shade I don't know if you can see it right here but yes I adore this palette and I use it quite often um, I just really love like this is like the ultimate nude palette for me it gives me everything that I possibly need in a palette and so it just makes me happy it just makes me so happy and then of course the artwork is like phenomenal chef's kiss it's the best so yes that is everything for my top 10 12 ish palettes that i will be dipping into for this spring i hope this gives you a little bit of an idea on some color choices on what you can be using for the spring but uh, and all said, you know, you do you, you be you because you are beautiful and you are perfect just the way you are.
I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in my next.